why people that say those that can't teach are weak-minded fools how would you cope in front of 30 different kids in an hour and then another 30 different kids and then another 30 different kids that's like 90 and then another 30 kids that's like 120 and then another different 30 kids 150 kids a day over 600 as you can see 630 teachers reach out to us because they want more information about how to life coach kids why because they're thinking of leaving the profession here are a few reasons why 22 percent want to leave because of inadequate pay 19 percent say pressure and burnout 10 percent is lack of respect and nine percent is because of student behavior every single teacher that i've spoken to over the past three years every single one said there hasn't been a day where they haven't had a child raise their voice or kick off off or stress out or, or shout at them or swear every single day do you honestly think that one person could actually be in control of 150 kids behaviors i mean come on parents sort yourself out and look i know it's hard but you've only got two kids teachers have got to deal with 30 in an hour and apparently one in five teachers have been hit by a student never-ending battle this is about behavior another said spitting swearing and chair throwing among the things that are happening all too often and some of that was in primary schools so if you're a non-teacher and you ever sat there and thought <laughs> those that can't teach get off your little high horse you pathetic weak-minded fool and put yourself in their position have a nice day peace out